Daily for All Nation Ministries presents With Apostle O.S.A. Ayemo, a man sent from God. Jubilee for All Nation Ministries presents Jubilee Night, Worldwide Miracle and Prayer Day. With Apostle O.S.A. Ayemo, a man sent from God. Coming soon to Port Harcourt. 9 p.m. till dawn. Experience salvation, miracle healing, breakthrough, great deliverance, prosperity, greatness in life, signs and wonders, praise celebration. For more info, visit www.jfanm.com or www.apostleayemo.org. Telephone plus 234-805-460-9175 plus 234-803-586-2768 or email info at jfanm.com Jubilee Night, Worldwide Miracle and Prayer Day Hello there, all things are possible, Apostle OSIMO, it's my name the president and founder of Jubilee for All Nations Ministry. It's so great to have you again on this station, same time, viewing our program, and we are glad that we are building a great audience. The Bible says in Habakkuk 2.14, it says, The knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as the water cover the sea. Now, the greatest passion of my life and the entirety of this ministry is so winning. More souls and souls. Bible says, He that winneth soul is wise. Now, I'm about to take you in the Word of God, the second part of our teaching, um, part two, that says how to activate miracle. Many people do not know how to receive miracle despite the many promises of God in the Bible. So, we're about to go into Chicago, uh, Tim Lake Pack Family Harvest Church in Chicago, United States of America, where I was teaching extensively. On how to activate miracle and of course we're gonna have a part three but just before we go in the word of god let me share with you what psalm 119 says verse 89 says forever O god thy word is settled in heaven oh what a word forever O god thy word is settled in heaven every time we hear the word of god we must know that the word of god is unchangeable the word of God is irrevocable and the word of God is irresistible. Now listen to this again. The same chapter, Psalm 119, verse 130 says, The entrance of thy word give it light, and it give it understanding unto the simple. The entrance of thy word. Light is so informidable, it's so powerful, darkness cannot overshadow it. That's what is about to happen to you today as you hear the word of God. The last verse on this in the same chapter says he said i uh, verse 162 says i rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil hello friend get ready let's go in the word of god and land and 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 and, 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 and be inspired and be ignited because i believe that the greatest miracle is just about to begin to unfold in this generation in jesus mighty name all things are possible Come with me and let's go. Blessings. The devil can stand when a real believer stands on prayer. God wouldn't do anything until he finds a man or woman who can pray. 
That's what D.L. Moody said. And how true that is. You can get that book. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. Call unto me and I will answer thee. And show thee great. Someone say great. And mighty things which thou knowest not. Ephesians and chapter 3. What an awesome night. Ephesians 3.20 says. Let's back up to verse 19. And to, be, and to know the love of Christ. Which passeth knowledge. That ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Someone say praise the Lord. Verse 20. And unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. Above all that we can Ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him, verse 20, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. And everybody say, amen. amen. Look here. There is not one thing that God cannot do. There are no impossibilities with God. At the age of 15 years, my mom died, my mother died, and they were going to take her to the mortuary. And I was out there playing tippy tennis. And I was called upon by my sisters. Mom, it's dead. Got home. Neighbors were there. Everyone is wailing and crying. But I remember one time, people ask me every time, media people ask me, they interview me on TV, and they say, Apostle, what is the greatest miracle in your consideration that you've ever seen? This is that one miracle. As a young boy, a chicken died in my grandmom's backyard, and I pick it up by the, by the legs, and I said, Grandmom, this chicken is dead. And my, mom, my grandmom said, drop it, put it on the ground. My grandmother was a woman of prayer. She was a woman who knew God. She was a woman who was intimately close to God. She walked with God all her life. She never passed the church, but she knew how to pray. Two presidents of our nation came at midnight hours to see my grandmother. They would bring the dead from the mortuary. Muslims, in fact, a lot of Muslim clerics with broth who were dead. My grandmother would stretch her hand. I never saw her lay hands on anyone. She would say in Jesus' name, and they would flip up. And I'm beginning to have a problem, uh, Anthony, with this generation of preachers. And, and I've read many books. Trust me, what my greatest uh, 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 investment does not go into cars. I, I heard about a car recently. I was on, w w w w watching TV recently. There's a car called Bugatti. Bugatti is $2.2 million. And I'm like, what? Someone's going to buy that car with $2.2 million? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bugatti. But, but my greatest wealth is not put into clothing or, you know, Rolex research. And it's all nice. But my greatest place of investment is my library. I read like two or three books in a week. The list of 250 pages. And that's where I put all, all, all my investment. So I've read a lot of books in my lifetime. If I was to go to be with the Lord today, I would have made history. We have a book called Jehovah Rapha. 500 pages. When you flip through this book, you see undeniable creative miracle proof of God's power. And it's not about show. It's not about a man. It's about who Jesus is and what he did in Bible days and what he's still doing today. I call that book my legacy book. Miracles in every nation. In one nation in Norway, I mean, camera people were there. The media were there. Doctors were there because there's been publicity all over the TV. And Apostle Aimo was coming to Norway. And Norway is a very close nation. And they brought all kinds of hopeless cases. My goodness. Hopeless cases. One man watched his boy that had multiple sclerosis. All twisted. All mingled, twisted over. His boy looks like a monkey. He was like that. And his father said, if God can heal my boy, then I believe there is a God. Now, there was no way to communicate to the boy because the boy was even deaf and dumb. The boy couldn't speak. The boy was all messed up. He was a veggie. 
But I looked, cameras were all focused on him. And I looked at the boy and I said, Jesus, if you are here, would you touch his body? And we watched right before our eyes. His body began to straighten up. And the boy said, for the first time, Daddy. And the whole place went crazy. Is there a God of miracle? Yes, there is. In Baltimore, I watch a medical doctor come into the service. The Lord gave me a word of knowledge. And the Lord speaks to me 99% of the time through the gift of word of knowledge. He would tell me what happens in the audience. And this man came out and he had no kneecap. His, his feet were as straight, a straight like a steel beam. And the Lord said, I'm going to give him a new bone. I told him, he said, I'm a doctor. My case is very critical. It's impossible. I said, well, if Toyota has a spare part and Mercedes has the spare part, heaven has got the spare part of the human body. And right now, I command the angel of the Lord to give you a new kneecap. I said, now flip your legs. And he did this. He was like, I can move my legs! <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Isn't that awesome? And now, I'm praying the last six weeks and God is telling me, I am a lesson. I'm going to do miracles that will shock this world. And America needs to see God of miracles. I said, God, what are you talking about? God, I, I, I'm, what are you talking about? He said, where hands and feet have been amputated, cut off, I will bring forth new legs, totally brown new legs and brown new hands. And now I'm getting ready for that. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mama, this chicken is dead. Mama said, put it on the ground. And I'm having a problem with, you know, this, the preachers of this generation. Because I've read all, I mean, Kenya, Casey Price, Kenneth Hagin, name them all, all the teachers of faith. I've got all their books in my library. But the Bible says, shall they? And, and sometimes when people don't get healed, when, 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 you know, uh, when people don't get their breakthroughs in the miracle, we say, you know what? You need to have more faith. You need to develop your faith. That's all right. But the Bible says in Romans, shall their faith make the power of God of no effect? Shall, so shall their unbelief make the power of God of no effect? And I watched my grandmother, so look in my eyes, look in my eyes. She spoke to the chicken, a dead chicken. That's the greatest miracle I've ever saw. In the name of Jesus, I said, Mama, it's a chicken. <laughs> Does the chicken have faith? No. Answer me. No. Ah, no. ah. No. And, and here we are, 10 principles to healing. 101 Secrets to success. And 900 steps to your breakthroughs. And we confuse people. And we condemn people. And we make them go through the treadmill of life. Every day they are looking for a breakthrough. They are looking for a healing. They are going from conferences to conferences. The thing is the church has not come into the realm of God's limitless power. It's a realm. It's a realm where nothing is impossible. It's a realm where you don't have to call the name of Jesus five times. It's a realm, my friend, who is watching by way of live streaming and television, where you say, Jesus once, the Bible said, the light shineth, John 1 verse 5, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. There was nothing made that was made except through Him. In Him was light, and the light was the life of men. Verse 5, and the light shineth, and the darkness comprehended. Now, if I want to turn off the lights tonight, all I've got to do is turn off the switch just once. Is that right? And the entire place goes dark. Is that right? And if I want to flip the light back on, what do I do? I press the button and the light comes on. How come we pray endlessly and we see no results? Have you ever wondered? I'm here. My grandmother says, in the name of Jesus. And a dead chicken flips up. and <laughs> What? My brain is messed up. I'm like crying. Nine years old, nine year old boy. I walk in the room. I'm weeping. Fell on the floor. I'm sobbing. My grandmother walks up to me and taps me on the back and says, why are you crying? I said, that was a chicken. She said, yes, God loves the chicken too. I said, mom, mom, I don't understand this. He said, that chicken died prematurely. I'm like, mom, wait a minute. I know Jesus. We're told in, in Sunday school, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. He said, yes, Jesus also can raise the chicken from the dead. And I saw that happen. 
And the problem is we have not come to recognition. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he's a reward. Must believe that he is. Sam says only the fool says there is no God. There is a God that controls the universe. There is a God that controls the galaxies. There is a God that has the world in the very hollow of his hand. There is a God. That was a God Joshua knew. And he said to the son, in the valley of Adelon, Joshua said, he said, son, be still. And the son was still. That is the God of this Bible. There is a God that Moses, when he, was, when he stood face to face with three million people, and, and, and they come again, you know, come face to face with the Red Sea, and they didn't know what to do. And God said, Moses, why cry you unto me? Lift your rod, stretch it over the water. And the Bible says the rod, the, the Red Sea padded into two. Um, three million people walked on dry, dry ground. That is the God we're talking about tonight. The God of miracle. The Israelites crossed over and they were in the wilderness. Excuse me. And they were thirsty. And they began to complain. We're going to die of thirst. Are you with me? And, and God said, what's that in your hand? He said, a rod. Don't forget, it was the same rod. When Moses met God, God said, hey, throw the rod, put the rod down. He did. And Bible says, what? Well, the rod turned into something. He said, with this rod, thou should do signs. Isaiah 11. He says, and the rod shall come forth from the stem of Jesus. His name is Jesus. Name above all name. It's not our Krishna. It's not Muhammad. It's not Buddha. His name is Jesus. <laughs> Say, Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. His name is above cancer, Pastor Anthony. His name is above diabetes. His name is above multiple sclerosis. His name opened blinded eyes. His name unstops deaf ear. The same Jesus that walked the, source, the, 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 the seashore of Galilee is here tonight. And he's closer to you than the very clothes you wear. I know it. I've experienced it. And I'm living that life. He's here tonight. In Chicago, he's here tonight. In Family Harvest Church, he's here tonight. And in a couple of minutes, we will see miracles. Some of the miracles. miracles. Say it again. Miracles. Say it again. Miracles. Say it again. Miracles. What is a miracle? A miracle is the supernatural intervention of God in the affairs of man. A miracle is that power, dunamis is called, that transcends natural laws and elements and makes them Possible, possible. We serve a God who is unlimited in power. He is ultimate in power. He is omnipotent God, omniscient God, all-knowing, and omnipresent God. Everywhere present, he's here tonight. He said, call unto me. The reason why we don't see as many miracles as we, we, we read in the Bible days, and we hear. I watched a preacher on TV two months ago, and he was being, being interviewed, and he was being asked, if you had ever seen a blind person see after prayer, he said, I've never seen one. He's been pastoring for over 47 years in America. Tuck his chip. Today we have a lot of folks in the church who can raise funds, but they can't raise the dead. I'm tired of fundraising. I want to see dead raisins. Fundraisers. I want to see dead raisers. They said the blind will see, but the blind walks home. They said the lame will walk, but the lame gazes and says, what's going on here? Can someone help me? Got a boy, a, a little girl, a little girl. We've got a videos. Got no bones in her legs. No bones. And, I, and, and, and I'm preaching the gospel like that. And then I, I, I asked her sick to come out. And while they came out, uh, this, this woman is weeping. It's just weeping. My eyes can see almost half of the people in a crusade of over 100 million people. My eyes are so sharp like an eagle eye. I'm looking. And I'm saying, what's going on there? Why are you crying? And the woman said, my, my daughter literally has got no bones. And I said, bring her up here if you can believe all things are possible. He that cometh to God, Hebrews eleven six, must believe that he is, that he is God above all. He is God supreme. He is God superior. He is God with a final authority. His word is yea and amen. Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. As the rain cometh down from heaven and returneth not hither and water in the air. It says, so shall my word be that goeth out of what my mouth. It shall accomplish that which I please. It shall not return to me void. The word void means unproductive. 
The word void means empty. The word, word void means unrealistic. So when God says a thing, God means what it says, and it says what it means. But see, we never come to that place where we believe God for who he is. Hello? And you can't get to that point until you draw near. He said, draw near unto me, and I will draw near unto you. We must know that God wants not only to save us, but to transform us. Today, I want to invite you to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the greatest miracle of all miracles. Would you stretch your hand today? You want to give your heart to Jesus. You want to stop living under the influence and the control and the power of sin. And that's what gives the devil inroad into your life. And I want to ask you right now, say with me, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I come to you today. I have no power to save myself. Set me free from the power of sin and Satan and the deception of religion. Jesus, cleanse me with your blood and write my name in the Lamb Book of Life. From this day, I surrender all to you now and forever through eternity. Amen. I'm glad you made that decision. Now, there are phone numbers on the screen. Call, call those numbers. Someone will talk to you and will direct you and guide you into how to grow in, in the Christian faith and becoming a mature believer in Jesus' name. On the phone. Hallelujah. Now, right away, I want to pray for those who are sick, those who are diseased in their body, those who need one miracle or the other, a breakthrough, an open door, a, a miraculous intervention of God's power. Wherever you may be, you want to touch the screen by an extension of your faith. There's no distance in the realm of a spirit. Just as you are there, maybe you're watching by internet, maybe you're, watch, you're watching in your home, in your office, from your iPod, from your phone, gadgets, whatever means of viewing system you're using, God's power is closer to you than the clothes you wear. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke sickness, I rebuke disease. Father, you give me authority in the matchless name of Jesus over every spirit of infirmity, cancer, blindness, uh, a kidney problem, liver problem. Right now, I believe people have been healed from organic failure. Be healed now. I command a creative miracle. Heart problems, lung problems, asthma, diabetes in Jesus' name, high blood pressure. Go from these people for they are God's people for by the stripes of Jesus, they are healed. They will take your filthy hands away and leave God's people alone. Thank you, Father, for a miracle even now in Jesus' name. Be made healed be made whole. And I command breakthroughs in your finances. I command open door where you need an open door. This week will be a week of miracles. It will be a week of, of explosive testimonies in Jesus' name. Again, it's our year of the extraordinary. Receive extraordinary wisdom, extraordinary favor, extraordinary blessing, extraordinary grace of God, and extraordinary intelligence and strategies to have extraordinary result in every ramification of of life. May your steps be divinely ordered in the name of Yeshua, Amashia, Jesus, the risen Savior. Amen. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. And with God, all things are possible. I'm so glad that you have tuned into this program. Uh, never, never stop watching us, watching this program. Stay on and call the numbers on your screen. Someone will be right there to take your call in Jesus' name. I love you. there this is a clarion call to you all now um, it's a very special part of my life and then one what what happens in this ministry there are people behind the scene that makes things happen the three kinds of people on earth those who watch things happen those who desire things to happen and those who make things happen now would you want to be a part of Jubilee Covenant partners these are essential armies of God who literally get behind us, behind the scene, and they support our crusades, and they support our media broadcasting programs around the world. And I want you today to decide to become a Jubilee Covenant partner. I take very, very special interest in my partners. Now, go to our website and get all the account information. Call the phone numbers on the screen right now. Somebody will be there to attend to you. And I, in particular, will be communicating with you as a Jubilee Covenant partner. Help us sponsor a crusade. Help us keep these programs going around. 
the globe as we win souls, souls, and more souls. I look forward to meeting you one-on-one -on -one as you become a part. Give, and God will abundantly bless you and enrich you and enlarge your coast and make His face shine upon you. God bless you. Apostle OSA Ayemo presents inspiring life transforming books from Jubilee Publishing. Jehovah Rapha, the Lord of your breakthrough. Don't miss God's miracle working power. Relentless passion for souls. Good news. The incredible anointing. Jehovah Rapha, Volume 2. Understanding how to heal the sick. Mighty manifestations through prayer and fasting. What's in the jawbone of a donkey? This is your day for Jupiter. Available now at all major bookstores nationwide. For more info, visit www.jfanm.com or www.apostleayemo.org or call the following numbers on your screen. 